Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure you really clearly remember this green Toyota Tacoma, which is being famous about that white smoke out of the tailpipe, right? I already made two videos. It was just brief. You remember how much white smoke was coming out of it. And in different videos, second one, we basically said or find out in the number three cylinder there was that green coolant in it. And that gave us clue that either head gasket is blown right on that head. Hopefully. And hopefully it's not a cracked head. I'm crazy enough, I accepted challenge and I'm doing that job for this customer. So I have little chance to show you something what you don't see every day. I have absolutely no time to film this procedure step by step, that's impossible. So you will see it, I already work on it. But I would love to show you in this short video, right, I would like to show you how I will remove that timing camshaft pulleys. You can see the procedure and you can see them in the detail. And I have to remove both of them. This is called the right hand side, left hand side, right? Easier to avoid confusion, driver side, passenger side. But they are in front of this plate, right, and I need to remove that to get nicely to the plenum and so on. So both of them are going off right now. And this camshaft timing pulleys freely rotate, right? So if I want to remove that nut, which is a 17 millimeter, I need some kind of pulley holder, right? So I will put it on. To stop that rotation, maybe the best will be right here. And I will use that breaker bar with that 17 millimeter. I'm coming to it awkwardly because there needs to be space for camera. But right, hopefully you will be able to see how this works. So this one is really, really tight. Let me try again. Wow! So it seems to be it's really tight. And also I had to hold both items, right? The breaker bar and the pulley holder. So I will make sure right now the pulley holder is nicely all the way in. I placed it here down on the side of the vehicle. And let's try this way, right? Did you hear that? That was really, really tight. I can move it, right? Here is the pulley holder. Now I should be able to unscrew this big bolt. It's a long one. So here you can see detail of the bolt. Here comes a right hand camshaft pulley. Hopefully you can see nicely the detail, right? It's nicely marked here R. I will obviously put them in the order, but uh, you don't have to freak out that you forgot which one is right, which one is left. I'm trying to show you the details also See, there is back and there is a front, right? The other one, when I will remove it, looks differently. So, and here is a little pin. I don't want to forget about that, right? It's called knock pin. So I will just pull it out so I don't lose it. Again, for you, just the detail of it, right? Yep. Can you see the second one? I have to a little bit improvise down here. That pulley holder will be touching the alternator body or alternator pulley.
pulley, which I don't want since it's torqued so much. So I'm setting chunk of wood, the block of wood against the body, the frame of the vehicle. Now I'm coming with my breaker bar, right? Carefully catching all of that. I will recheck that the alternator is good. Yeah, everything's fine there. Let's see if it will work. Uh-huh. Not on the first try. Let's see if it will work this time. It's really, really tight, those bolts. Did you hear that? Yep. Good. And this is exactly why I like, if I have a time, why I like to film these things for you, because you really can see, right, which tools you might need for it, and if you can run into the trouble, because the bolts are really tight, for example, here, and you might be not able to take it off, who knows, right? So again, the same bolt, here is another pulley, this, in this case, right, they call it left hand, the left is here as a L, hopefully it shows. Again, as you can see, if you look at this one, it's not having that notch on the back side, right? So the front, it's obvious as it goes. And again, I will not forget to remove that knock pin. And if you wanna see a little bit more, stay with me right now. Here is 10 millimeter bolt which is holding that cam shaft position sensor, right? That is in my way, so here you can see the removal. That was loose there. I can put this screw back for right now. And I have basically remaining, right? One, two, three, four, five, ten millimeter bolts. And these are holding so called this steel, this chunk of steel is called number three timing belt cover in the terminology of the Toyota, right? So now I will take all these off and I will show you in just a second the end result. Now, this is a big job, obviously, right? dealing with that head gasket or whatever will come up so you have to be organized right so I'm putting everything through and my entire garage I'm putting things in some kind of order as I remove them keeping the logical kind of continuity keeping the bolts together right where they supposed to be is this going off Let's see, what is it still holding? Where? There is not visible from here, but there is a one more 10 millimeter right here on this side holding the bottom of that number three, right? We know the correct term right now. It's a number three timing belt cover. So that should be the last one. I'm pretty sure that that's true. And let's see what lays behind it. I will zoom on it for you. So let me lose this and let's see how close you can see it. Right, so that's the head on the left. There is an intake plenum in the middle which I have to remove. Right, that's my continuity. But you see on the left, that's the head I'm dealing with that needs to be removed and inspected and cross finger for this owner that it is only the head gasket and here is maybe another view of that removal right what you just see hopefully that's something interesting for you see how much dirt is here collected behind that number three cover right here you can see how somebody used way too much of that gasket maker but 
it didn't matter since it's squeezed out and not inside of the engine, right? So this is what I'm dealing with. I'm behind, there's no way I can keep filming. If I will see something interesting, I will definitely show it to you. So thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.